QuickBooks Online 2022 OneNote presentation, increase screen size and toggle. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Online 2022. If you have access to OneNote, would like to follow along, icon left hand side, topic introductions, 1013 increase screen size and toggle tab. Also take a look at the immersive reader tool. The topic introductions will be in the text area as well. Same name, same number, but with transcripts, transcripts that can be translated into multiple different languages and either listened to or read in them. Same name and number as presentations as well. The topic introductions designed to give an introduction to the topic, provide screenshots, links where applicable, give accounting background to complement the presentations and can be used to follow along with the presentations if you don't have access to the software at that time. Closing the icon on the left hand side, we're looking at just some adjustments or navigation techniques when you're in an online setup. And these are basically based on a Windows computer because that's what I'm using here, but you would have similar kind of features on a Mac as well. So we first have the zoom in feature. So if you wanted to, to make the icons larger, just about on any website, but as well on the QuickBooks Online, in essence, a website type of uh, online based program, you can hold down control and scroll up and you can increase the size. Note, you need to be careful of this, however, when you're entering data into forms like invoices, uh, expense bills, expense forms, and so on, because it could distort the data input, although they're getting much, much better at it. But if there is a problem with your data input on a form, log out, take it back down to 100%, go back into it and it should work fine at that point. If you're used to the desktop version, you had to go back to basically the settings on your computer to basically increase the screen size and actually increase the size of the icons there. So that is actually a lot easier on the website, but you do have to get, get used to the way the website's gonna adjust and the actual screen and the icons will adjust as you make the adjustments to the screen size. The other thing to keep in mind is that uh, if you're used to the desktop version, you have this little window where you can toggle back and forth between different uh, forms and different items that are open. And you also have some, some more settings that you could do with regards to the size of the text on your actual report. You can actually increase the size. You can do some other stuff with the font and whatnot. You're a little bit more limited with those items on the online version. However, you can duplicate the tabs up top so you can kind of mimic this scenario where you have multiple windows by basically right clicking on the tab up top and duplicating it so you have multiple tabs up top. That'll feel a little bit strange at first if you're used to the desktop version, but it, you get used to it and it's not too bad uh, once that is done. The actual forms themselves actually show up larger on the screen when you pull them up. And again, you can kind of control and scroll in. So that gives you more flexibility really than the desktop version. However, you don't have as much options when you're trying to adjust the size uh, of the of the text and the font options, which which isn't so much of a problem for the size of the font for you as you're working with it, as much as it might uh, give you some limitations when you're kind of presenting the presentations. Uh, and you could work around that by basically exporting to an Excel and doing things like that. Here's an example of two tabs that are open up top. 